Let's get this sucker ready. Oh shit! Are you kidding me? Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to take on Horde 84. And this is going to be a melee night. I don't have any explosives with me because I just haven't had a chance to mine more nitrate. Uh, but what we are going to do is uh, we're going to use some electric fences. So we want to, I want to grab all of this stuff. I found this nail gun uh, in this car. Um, in fact, I'll show you the clip of that right now. Okay, so um, let's get up here. Now, I can actually make a nail gun, in it, and I can make a blue level nail gun, so that's something I'll probably do later when we get back, but I just didn't have time to, to mess with that right now. Uh, okay, so let's close this. Um, actually, hold on a sec. I think the first thing we need to do is, uh, yeah, let's put gasoline in here. Okay, and then um, we want to get our wiring tool out. And go from there to there. Okay, and then we're going to go up here. I've got um, repair stuff in here. Let's just grab all of that right now. And then we want to come around to here and grab this relay. And go to this first fence post. And then do it again. To the second fence post. Okay. Then we're going to grab the first fence post and run around to here and attach it to this one. And then likewise, do the same with this other one. And these uh, these electric fences should help us out quite a bit tonight. Um, just in con in controlling the crowd. I'm not expecting to get a bunch of XP. Uh, we'll probably get maybe one level, two if things go really well. Um, but that's not really the main focus of this, uh, of tonight. Uh, the main focus is to survive and just get through the horde night without any major issues. Okay, so we should be good to go. So these are set up right up above these blocks here. They're down low enough to where they'll hit spiders and dogs as well as any walking zombos, and we should be in pretty good shape. Uh, do I have iron? Oh, you know what? I was gonna make the. I was gonna make the um, iron hatches, and I never did. But let's at least get those upgraded, so I can get in here and get to. It's hard for me to get to that the far one, with these hatches in place, but I was gonna upgrade them, so that I can. Um, you know, so this little part here would be thinner, and I sh and I would be should be able to see the the thing there. So, uh, never did get these upgraded too. Let's do that now. Uh, but the whole idea here is I don't want the zombies that come through there to see me up here because then they'll stop, and especially if it's like a cop, it'll stop and try and spit on me, uh, which we don't want to do. So, I mean, I can see it from there, but I don't know if that would count as reaching it. You know what we could do. Let's go, let's do a little experiment here. All right, so if we, let's just repair these here. All right, so if I go and, I guess I'm going to have to go downstairs. I'm just going to put a little bit of damage on that one and see if I can reach it through the hatch. I'll bet you I can. But let's just confirm. Okay, so that's got a little bit of damage on it. I don't strictly need these fences. Um, they're going to help tremendously, but they're not essential to this base working. Um, but you know, we we want the we want to be able to use them anyways. Okay, so if I get over here, yeah, okay, good, I can reach it. Perfect. Okay, so we're in good shape. We're in good shape. So we'll just keep those closed and <clears throat> hopefully no Zeke's running through there 
will see us up here. And I think we're about ready to go here. Um, let me drop a couple things off in here that I don't need to be carrying around. Uh, we got some eye candy, so at the end of the night, um, you know, we can hit loot bags, which will be useful. I'm going to keep this extra gas in here, and we'll just keep it here the whole time for the... Uh, in fact, we should probably keep that here. And that's the only wire tool I have. I'm sure we'll come across another one, but man, we better not keep it here right now since it's the only one that we do have. And with this particular setup... Where's the wires? Are they invisible in Ravenhurst? Oh, they must be. Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right. I, I, it freaked me out for a second there because I'm going, what happened to my wires? Uh, all right. So, oh, I was going to also replace this smaller box with this larger one just so we have a little more room here. So let's pick this one up. And we'll put this one in its place. Um, if I stick it up there, can I still reach it from down here? No, but I can hop up here. Whoop. Up here. I just want it up out of the way. Um, okay, so we'll keep that in there. And anything else we don't need. Uh, I'm going to keep the coffee down here. Just so we have, you know, plenty of stamina. There's a couple things we could actually put in the 4x that we don't need to be carrying around, like the money, for example. So let's put that away. My bedroll is still set to um, over here. So if we if we die, at least it won't be from me blowing myself up this time. Uh, but if we do bite the dust, then um, at least, you know, we'll, we'll still be here and we can run back over here. Uh, we don't need the ratchet. We don't need the shovel. I'm going to put, well, we should probably keep this with us just in case. Uh, we got some repair kits that we're going to need. Extra gasoline. I don't think we'll need the night vision goggles, so let's put those in there. We don't, we better keep the wood for repairing purposes. Okay, that gets us unencumbered. Uh, so good. All right, guys, I think we are about as ready as we can be. So this will be interesting. Uh, I'm not really worried. I think we'll be fine tonight. But it'll be interesting to see this in action with the, um, you know, with the electric fences this time around. Uh, the base is already really good at crowd control, and it's going to be even better now with the electric fences. The other thing that's going to happen, too, is the electric fences are going to stun them. And that gives me more opportunity to hit them. Um, and, and plus the fact that they won't be able to, to damage, do any damage while they're stunned. So it's going to, should work pretty good. It should work pretty good. All right. Well, um, I'm just going to hang out until the Horde Knight starts and then when it does, we'll rock and roll. All right, here we go. You are turned on, right? Now you are. That's kind of important. You got to have the generator on if you actually wanted to generate electricity. Let's party, boys and girls. Okay, so why is the fence not working? That's interesting. Should be working. What the hell? Am I missing something? Do we need more output? Maximum output's 100 watts. I don't get it. They're running right into the fence. Why isn't it working? Uh, I don't know. Can't explain it. Guess we're going to be without fence tonight after all. I'm 
like to know why that's not working. Ah, he didn't scare me that time. Not that time. Well, I don't understand why this isn't working. It should be. I mean, they're stepping right into the fence. So I'm missing something. Maybe there's another step in Ravenhurst that you have to do to get the, the fences to work or something. We should have plenty of output. Miss me, sucker. Oh, we got hit that time. Maybe you can't, uh... Oh, maybe when he physically hits you, you get caught on fire. That's my guess. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of these vultures. I think they're actually inside because there's a hole in the roof. We might have to put some bars up above our head in the chamber, too. To deal with him. Well, this is disappointing, man. Oh, you know what? This is the problem. Start time. Okay, now I get it. I forgot to set this. Um, so, yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> uh, okay, end time should be... We'll just make it 4.30 in the morning. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I forgot I had put a timed relay there. This is what we want to see. Okay, let's get uh, repaired here while we're... See, now he's just sitting there. He can't hit anything, and I can just whack away on him. Totally forgot I put a timed relay in. What a noob. <laughs> and because I've got max engineering, I get 50% of the XP from the electric fence kills, too. Which is pretty nice. See, they're hardly hardly touching this now because they're all stunned. Freaking awesome, man. I don't have any amoxicillin on me. How long does that last? I have some back at the base. I guess maybe we better keep some of that around for now. And I don't even know what just did that to me. Alright, 
let's check our fences. That's in really good shape. And this one is... Yeah, that one needs some attention. Let's just nail them both while we're here. Some kind of nerf zombo or something that's doing the drugging thing. Yeah, this one here. I think we killed her. What the hell is that thing? What? What is that? Nightmare Gimp? Oh shit! wasn't able to, uh, uh, or it wasn't getting shocked, so we had to take it out. Oh, we lost a block. All right, we're going to have to really watch that now. Look at that guy. Terror convict. Oh, shit. We're getting some nasty Zeeks, man. Okay, we got it. We got it. We're going to have to get this stuff upgraded to steel for the next time. Feral white. Terror mechanic. How come you're not getting shocked? What the hell? All right, just stand there then. Oh, shit. Okay, let's double check, make sure... Whoop, no, 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 wrong thing. Make sure everything is nice and repaired. I missed my explosives. That guy's got some reach, man. Got him. Woo! Okay. Yeah, we gotta we gotta upgrade this this immediate area to steel for the next horde night, definitely. Oh, there's our bug friend.
Come here, creepy. Terror mutant. Get you right in the nuts, and you're mutant nuts. There you go. Wow, what the hell was that? That was scary. That was scary. Alright, it's morning. But we still have uh, some nasties to take care of. Oh shit, here comes another one of those guys. Oh, he is. What's he doing? It's just sitting there. Okay, we got He's got a really long reach. Oh, I guess he's down. Oh shit, look at that thing. <laughs> it's creepy as hell, man. Oh. Kind of looks like a clown or something, but jeez louise. All right, let's touch this up. Yeah, we definitely have to get this upgraded to steel next time. The fences are working beautifully, though. They're working great. I uh, just got to get this upgraded to steel. And I need... Uh, you know, more firepower as usual. Ah, oh, shit, I missed him. Yeah, come here. <laughs> I'm waiting for those super creepy guys to come back up. T2 zombie soldier. Ooh, look at Big Mama just booking it. gonna wait just a little bit longer I want to see if I can get a, a better look at that that other creepy guy maybe they I guess they don't despawn during the daytime I, I'm not seeing him again unless they're still working their way back up the ramp these guys are still running that feral white's just about dead okay he'll die Okay, I wonder if the the special monsters have have despawned because I'm not seeing them anymore. Just wait a couple more minutes. Well, that was a uh, that was a pretty exciting horde night, actually. You know, we didn't get uh, we didn't get a ton of XP, but they broke out these blocks here, and we saw we saw some new monsters tonight. Stuff we haven't seen yet uh, so far in this playthrough. Scary as I'll get out, man. We got a big mama. Radiated. Okay. I'm going to say that those guys are no longer around. So let's go ahead and turn that off. And let's head on out. Yeah, we had vultures come through there, but what I might do is cut a hole in here and put some bars down. All right, let's get this sucker ready. Oh, shit! Are you kidding me? <laughs> he was just, like, sitting out there the whole time? Oh, no, 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 go away. <laughs> Crap. 
I mean, my 4x4 was not in perfect condition, but it wasn't at 51% either. He really put the hurt on the vehicle. Holy crap. Well, at least the behemoth can't get up in the chamber. Of course, that means he could maybe just break through the building and get right to us. Right, hopefully, um... Hopefully everything's despawned. Whew. I can't believe it, man. He didn't, uh... He didn't appear to be damaging the building. He was just kind of stuck in this corner. I don't see any damage there. Let's let's just make sure he's actually gone. <laughs> Good gravy. Okay, I think he's gone. All right, well, let's go down into the pit and see what's going on down there. That's just your our daily horde. They're actually a running horde. Let's just let them go on by. I'd rather not mess with them right now. Because I don't have a lot of shotgun shells left. Okay, let's see if we can get down below without getting their attention. We need to eat. There's, there's like just small amounts of damage. Well, that thing got hit pretty hard. I should probably get this all upgraded to concrete. Wow, that one did too. Why those blocks specifically? That's just really weird. There's not really any bags down here. Yeah, there's a few. This is all in perfect condition. Okay, well, um, yeah, what the hell. Let's just burn the eye candy and put those on and see what we got. Now, of course, we find some night vision goggles. That's really nice. Oh, you know what else I'm going to do, too, before we continue looting? we got to hurry before it disappears. Uh, I can take the next level in Lucky Looter, so let's do that, too. Okay. I was going to do that anyway, so... Some steel boots we can use to repair our other ones. Okay, good stuff. All right. Um, there's a little bit of damage there. So, yeah, we. Um, I need to. I need to get the entire ramp upgraded to concrete to reinforce concrete more precisely, and then the area, our cage, at least the places that take the most direct damage uh, we need to have upgraded to seal by the next horde night. The fences worked very well though. I'm super happy with you know with the results of those and um, I mean you know they they did break those two blocks. Uh, I think it was that um, gimp or whatever the hell that thing was that did that and what I should have done with him is I should have pulled the shotgun out sooner than I did but you know it is what it is. We survived and uh very, uh, you know, very pleased with how the base is working in terms of, you know, just its crowd control. But, you know, without the explosives, of course, we, we didn't come close to getting the XP that we could have. So let's see. I've got this concrete here. I'm going to, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to use this, what I have for now, 
and uh, I'm going to bring more concrete out here to do the repairs and the touch-ups and stuff before the next Horde Night. But anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. I'm going to let you guys go. And in the next episode, um, I got it. You know, I'm, I want to keep working on the base, of course. We got that far down. I want to keep working on the base. We need to finish the moat, and I want to get the garden going. Those are my highest priorities right now. And then, uh, so I'll bring you back uh, with an update of those things um, in the next episode. Not exactly sure when, but it'll happen. So, another one? Oh, the, <laughs> the Wandering Horde made their way down here. Of course they did. All right, you know what? Whoa, what just happened to my camera? I think I jumped up on his head. I'm just going to shotgun my way out of here because I don't have time for this. Hey, where are you? what are you running for? Hold still so I can hit you. Jeez Louise. Okay. Tough zombies. We should probably take one of these. Is anything else coming from down below? No, I think we're good. Shoot you right in the coochie. Zombie coochie. Kind of nasty, isn't it? Holy shit. Oh, you're a tier two nurse. No wonder. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.